Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a long time since we've had an update on the Helena Hutchins Rust movie shooting tragedy. Uh, this one's quite a large update. So the estate of uh, Helena Hutchins is finally, and I will say finally, because it's been a long time, they've finally launched their own legal proceedings. Um, it's interesting that that took so long. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe they wanted to grieve. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe they were trying to gather evidence or see where the cookies crumbled. But they've launched their own legal proceedings and subsequently uh, everyone else has said, no, that's completely false. So it's interesting. Let's dive into it. Let's take a look. Uh, as always, I will continue the coverage of this because it's just a fascinating tale. Uh, it's a tragedy, of course, but it is an interesting tale and uh, I think it will shape things to come uh, in movie history because... You know, I mean, this is movie history. The last time someone died on set was from this certain sort of circumstance, uh, was from The Crow. So Alec Baldwin and Rust movie uh, is now sued for wrongful death by Helena Hutchins' estate. Lawyers make case with animated reenactment. Uh, wow. So, um, here we have it. The family... Of and notice the wording from the media here of slain Rust cinematographer. I mean that is it's it's perfectly valid wording. It's just interesting that they're going really that hard on it. Um, it's not something they did before. But anyway, the family of slain Rust cinematographer Helena Hutchins has officially filed a wrongful death lawsuit over the onset shooting by Alec Baldwin that took the filmmaker's life last October in New Mexico. Uh, and here's the statement. So, Helena Hutchins deserved to live, and the defendants had the power to prevent her death if they had only held sacrosanct their duty to protect the safety of every individual on a set where firearms were present instead of cutting corners on safety uh, procedures where human lives were at stake. Rushing to stay on schedule and ignoring numerous complaints of safety violations. That's, that's, they're going hard, and rightfully so. Uh, declares the complaint against star producer Alec Baldwin, uh, a slew of production companies and entities uh, producers. Uh, also named are some key crew members, such as Armour Hannah Gutierrez-Reed and assistant director David Halls, who have both been at the centre of the October 21st, 2021 tragic event. Um, they, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed and David Halls, categorically, it, it wouldn't make sense not to have them included in this lawsuit because... Subsequently, uh, in the coverage that I've done anyway, they have come out and stated, one, the shocking quote from Hannah Gutierrez Reed is, I didn't check the gun too much. That's a direct quote, verbatim. Not good. Um, and David Halls had already said, yeah, no, I don't know. Like, I don't know, basically. I don't know whether I checked it properly. Um, so pretty, pretty bad stuff. So this lawsuit seeks justice for the losses of her survivors and to hold responsible those who caused her tragic death. And that's the 29-page filing uh, from Albuquerque firm McGinn, Montoya, Love and Curry. Defendant Baldwin, the producers and the Rust production companies were aware of firearm safety issues that had occurred on the set of Rust and did not take action to correct the situation and ensure that basic gun safety rules were followed on October 21. Uh, 2021. Now we know that there was uh, safety concerns. Crew members uh, had already left that day, uh, citing safety concerns. There was uh, reports of planking, uh, guns going off left, right, and center. Not good. Not good. So the suit goes on to say, had defendant Baldwin, the producers, and the Rust production companies taken adequate precautions to ensure firearm safety on the set of Rust, or if basic firearm safety rules have been followed on the set of Rust on October 21, 2021, Helena Hutchins would be alive and well, hugging her husband and nine-year-old son. Now, that is actually kind of an inarguable statement, right? What led to the death? Procedures not being followed correctly. Right, everything needs to be checked, triple checked. You know, uh, basic gun safety protocols would be: don't point a gun at someone, don't you know, don't don't pull the hammer back, don't click this. You know, th there's very basic safety procedures that should have been in place that weren't, which led to obviously the death. So it's kind of like an inarguable fact. Um, yeah, 
Now they say this, calling the evidence overwhelming and rejecting theories of sabotage, a quartet of lawyers from McGinn and uh, L.A. Set Panish, Shia, Boyle, uh, Ravi, Pudi, LLP, I can't speak, uh, for the family made the announcement of the filing in New Mexico on Tuesday at a press conference in the city uh, of Angels. Baldwin and other members of the production were sued in part for reckless behaviour and cost-cutting uh, led to the senseless, tragic death of Helena Hutchins, said lead attorney Brian Parrish at the start of the presser. Makes sense. I uh, Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> this, I believe, is the um, video, which we'll watch in a moment. So to further the point, and because no actual footage of the shooting seems to exist, the attorneys also showed a video game-like animated and narrated video depicting the sequence of events that witnesses say occurred. Um, on the rust set at the Bonanza Creek Ranch outside Santa Fe on October 21. The sometimes vivid video ended with a slate uh, that said Baldwin and the production disregarded at least 15 industry standards of onset safety, as you can see below. So let, let's just take a look. Uh, it's not that long. Oh, it is that long, actually. Oh, it's quite long, nine minutes. Um, we'll just take a look at some basic things. So this is obviously Baldwin being handed the gun puts it in, sits down. This we know. I tell you, they've, I'm impressed that this is, you know, what they're bringing um, to sort of show what, what actually happened. Um, and then here we, of course, have uh, um, cinematographer went down. And then so on and so forth, straight from there. Um, it's pretty rapid the way they did that, but if you watch it back again, it's a cross draw that occurs. So it's this, he pulls it out. Now, in that, it does look like he pulls the hammer back. Yeah, so he pulls the hammer back. Now, I think what is interesting about this... Uh, this sort of animation is I do believe we were told in previous reports that Helena Hutchins was walking with um, like a wireless monitor uh, and that didn't actually happen now there's all this other stuff here you know in terms of industry and it goes on like it's really in depth so I'll leave this link down below so you can have a look at it because um, it's fascinating stuff Mr. Baldwin aimed the revolver at his cast and crew within a dangerous distance true uh, the cast and crew were only four feet away. I mean, you shouldn't be aiming a gun directly at people. Um, that's basic safety anyway. Uh, industry standards required Mr. Baldwin to ensure any crew in the line of fire had protective glass or other personal protective equipment. I mean, nothing was going to... You know, short of a bulletproof vest, nothing was going to save Helena Hutchins this day, was it? Let's be honest. Uh, industry standards required remote operation of the camera if Mr. Bolden ever aimed the gun at the camera. Now, that's something which seems to have been said that was actually happening, but it doesn't look like that is the case here. So that'll be interesting to see what happens with that. Uh, and then it just develops a little bit further. Live round, typical dummy round. When you shake a dummy round, you hear a BB rattle, and it's just talking about basic things. Um... So there you go, like that's that's the, I mean, it's pretty graphic, but let's just scroll down. So Albuquerque-based uh, attorney Randy McGinn said Tuesday that she expected a trial to occur in about a year and a half. That's quite crazy. Refusing to name a financial figure that the suit is seeking, a lawyer Panish added that he thought a trial would last around a month. Despite the announcement at today's press conference, the Santa Fe Sheriff's Office has yet to charge anyone in the tragic incident, which saw star producer... Bolden discharged a, a gun that took the life of the production's DP, Hutchins, uh, and wounded director Joel Souza. So they're still going on. The police probe is still happening. Um, there's no other major updates here, but the one thing which is important to now update based around all of this is Alec Baldwin and Rust producers declare wrongful death lawsuit false. Slain cinematographer. It's that, it's that wording again. They're really going hard. Um, but you can't say it's, you, can't, you can't really say it's false. I mean, I understand why they are, but you can't really say it's false. Um, 
uh, it's nothing really you can be like oh yeah that's completely false i mean but it's true like in the statement there's a lot of stuff there which makes a lot of sense right anyway mere hours after a wrongful death a uh, lawsuit was filed over the fatal shootings of Russ and was for Helena Hutchins. Lawyers for Alec Baldwin and fellow producers are declaring that any claim that Alec was reckless is entirely false. Well, what was it then? You know, there's basic safety procedures that weren't followed. That's recklessness, right? Like, how, how do you go about defining what recklessness is? That would meet um, a lot of definitions of recklessness. This morning, Hutchins' estate attorney, Brian Parrish, uh, put blame on the Russ producers, right? Um, but then this is the statement from Baldwin. This is the latest update. So everyone's hearts and thoughts remain with Helena's family as they continue to process this unspeakable tragedy, said Baldwin and Russ attorneys Erin Dyer, Pillsbury, Winthrop, Shaw, Pittman. We continue to cooperate with the authorities to determine how live ammunition arrived on the Russ set in the first place. Uh, he, Baldwin, Helena and the rest of the crew uh, relied on the statement by the two professionals responsible for checking the gun that it was a cold gun. I mean, there is no possibility of a discharge, blank or otherwise. This protocol has worked on thousands of films with millions of discharges, uh, as there has never been an incident on a set where an actual bullet harmed anyone. Well, hmm. Actors should be able to rely on armourers and prop department professionals, as well as assistant directors, rather than deciding on their own when a gun is safe to use. I mean, you can say that. But that doesn't mean that you're not culpable at that point, does it? Just saying, well, we, they should be able to. Yeah, okay, but what if you hire the wrong people? Who's then to blame from that, you know, moving forwards there? So anyway, Defendant Bolden, the producers and the Russ production companies were aware of firearm safety issues that occurred. So this is just the, the statement from Parrish and things like that. Um, so there you go. I mean, that's that's kind of the update. Uh, Alec Baldwin is now being completely sued uh, and they're denying it, which is kind of to be expected, but I'd love to hear your thoughts, so let me know down below. If you've appreciated the coverage, hit subscribe, give the video a like, and do share it. Thank you so much. Take care.